G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19, we we're back in Darkness Falls coming into day 72, we have kind of sorted ourselves out after the rigmarole of the last Horde Night, half of our stuff is now home, I haven't had a chance to sort it yet, it's still just like clogging up all of the cabinets and everybody nook and cranny in my house right now. There is gubs everywhere. I'll get to it, I promise, but I've been so busy doing other things lately that I just haven't really had a chance to, uh, well, either take a breath, which is kind of normal for me, but also sort out all the gubs. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff on me too as well. I do have all the concrete. I need, before I get too distracted by anything, I need to go and get some more rebar frames. I might quickly bang down as much of the concrete as I can in the walls I've been building outside, which you can kind of see through the window down there. I need to go and put all the concrete into those. I might quickly bang on my XP goggles and even slurp up some learned licks. If I have some left for some extra XP goodness, there is some there. I'll take one of you. Thank you. So I can get as much XP out of that as possible. I'm not going to go to steel, just concrete order do. Just some way to kind of push zombie pathing away from the soft squishy bits of the lighthouse so that's what i need to do first and foremost then i need to go see trading wreck seven rebar frames there to finish my wall but then i want to go i want to go back to the wasteland i want to go and find that incubus is cruising around with his little horny head making all sorts of issues for me because i have my new and improved laser rifle this is throwing the ground to have a cheeky gander at you you're very curvy. I quite like all the curves you got going on there, man. I don't, you know, don't say that very often, but you know, you, you got all the curves in all the right places. You definitely fit into the, well, into the palm of my hand, I guess is pretty accurate to say. So I want to go test that out and see how it goes up against the Hell Knight. But before I can do that, there's lots of work to be done. I have no idea how much XP this is going to give me. It's gone up pretty bloody quickly, actually. So hopefully it's still like the old vanilla days where pouring concrete into rebar frame just gives you boatloads of XP. And look how fast you upgrade with the multi tool as well. But fly. In fact, I can just hold it down, can't I? Yes, I can. I don't have any steel on me, so to, and it's also wet, so I don't have to worry about double upgrading by accident all the way along. Yes, 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 yes. It'd be really bloody good. Still no idea why I can't place three by frame in that block there. I'll come back and try it again later when I have some more, but there's some sort of mysterious ghost block in the way that's causing me issues, but that's a later Josh problem all the way along. Thank you very much. This should have very, at the very least, mean that if a wandering horde does show up with a behemoth in it, which is starting to happen nowadays, they should get pushed around the outside into some turret fire. I need to put some turrets down outside as well. Wow, my learn release lasted for four minutes and I was done with that in eight minutes. That went much, much quicker than I was expecting it to. So there's definitely something like ghost blocking in that one specific spot in the middle here. I'm not entirely sure why, but oh geez, I got getting real stuck and real squidgy bits there. But that's going to cause me some issues when I put down a garage door. Because what I want to do before I head out, let's go here. Let's go uh, powered. Powered garage door, steel springs, and both kinds of parts. Got plenty of those. That should be pretty easy. You, you, parts, and parts. Don't have many electrical parts, but I should have some more kicking around in various boxes around the place. I go like this. Uh, no, that one. Take what I can. Does it give me any extra electrical parts? Uh, no, it didn't. Maybe in this box over here, then. You got anything for me? Like that. I keep losing. I keep losing in the bloody sea of garbage. No, it didn't. Okay, so... Is that going to be enough for me to make just one? I just need one bloody door. Powered. Please, powered. Yes, just by a little bit. Nice. So let's get you crafting away. Going to take six minutes, but at least I'm going to come back. I hope I can find a way to bonk it into my door. And that should mean that I have everything going for me. You guys can all go away again. Thank you very much. Um, What I do need to do, though, while I'm here, is grab the stuff that I do need to go sell to old matey Trady Potatey, because I need some dollar redos. Oh. That sounds like a wandering horde. That was all the landmines next door. Get out there quick, Josh. Yep, okay. Well, that's all right for the moment. That's less all right for the moment. As long as I kind of like spaced out a little bit, I should be able to take care of them relatively simply. Shoot you right in the dick. You need to go away before you break my brand new walls, please. And the bullet's going to be going through these clowns and break my walls behind them. Look at it. Look at the difference you've taken out of me walls, you bastards. Absolute glass. As I come out here trying to have a nice bloody time, you can't even let me have that. All my concrete's now put away, so I can't even bloody repair yous. Rude. 
Rude. I was just trying to have a nice little day, go through all my garbage and try and see what I did have that could have been either repaired and sold or thrown away. But no, instead you guys wanted to come and have a party, unbloody invited. I've got most of my life sorted out to go and sell. It's got a whole bunch of extras. I'm just going to quickly take a moment to go and combine all of these in the box over here. Like you and like you. Thank you. I'm going to get the same amount of money for doing this. It's like a little bit of effort goes a long way in these kind of circumstances. Grab all you. Could have used you to upgrade my current thigh protection, but given I'm kind of on the lookout for, uh, what should we call it, for power armor these days, not really my main concern. You and you makes a 65. That's lovely. Nope, for goodness sake. Keep missing the bloody box. That one. There you go. 66. Cool. So if I do this for everything, fuck me dead and hang me from the chandelier. Fucking put it in there, Josh. Christ, never been good at getting things in any sort of gap, but you got, might want to sort that at some point in your life. Fuck, it was really bloody embarrassing. All of you guys, if I do this, I get the same amount of money in the end anyway, but it just saves inventory space, which means I can sell more. All right, we're finally good to go. I'm chock a bloody block full of all sorts of good sellables. Let's go see what he's got for me. Trader Rex usually doesn't have anything particularly good, but it's always worth a cheeky peek if I have the opportunity to. So around like this. My garage isn't quite big enough to get the proper three-point turn going. And so I have to get off to go press the, uh, the pressure sensor for some reason, but... Oh, just a little, some little quirks of Seven Days to Die, of which there are many, but you learn them and you get used to them. Let's go see Rex. I will take as much money as I can down to the wasteland to see Katie. Not sure she'll have anything really worthwhile for me. I'm not going to buy steel and concrete from her. I've got plenty of that in production already. That's not really a massive deal for me. I just want to see, you know, never know when she might have something fun. Apparently, she had some, um... Some vehicle mods way back when, so I wouldn't mind having a cheeky squeeze for some of those. Maybe I might stumble across one or two of those ones as well and bang them in my gyrocopter. But, you know, it's worth a look. You never know what you want to find. I'm mainly going there. To murder some demons. I don't have any spare fuel. I didn't bring... Idiots. Absolute muppet. Alright, well, I hope your fuel tanks are full, old mate, because uh, I need to take everything you got inside you. I'm going to go for the taxi as well. Let's not even bother with the call rifle. Alley-ooped you straight in the dick as well. Put a couple through you just because I want to make extra sure. Can you die, please? That you don't come after me. Do I have room for bullet casings? Please, I got at least got the gas and stuff, didn't I? Electrical parts too. All right, well, you guys... Oh, no, don't, don't scrap the springs. The springs are kind of valuable. Tiny electrical parts. Uh, what isn't particularly valuable in here? You're worth 105, you're worth way more, so I'll scrap you for the iron as well and take you back and you back. Are you all bullet casings? Yes, you are. Definitely don't leave those behind, Josh. Nice. Okay, let's break down this as well. Take what we can because I'd much rather have... What have I got fabric for? Piss the fabric off. I'd much rather have extra gas. This is get home again. I've got plenty of gas back at home. I just didn't bring any with me because I'm an idiot. Pulled out enough gas for half a tank, which is good. All right. Oh, there's loot there, though. I don't have any room for loot, though. No, I'll come back for it. I'll come back for it another time. So that was from a, a rad white, wasn't it? So I might actually have some decent stuff in it. I'll definitely try and remember that my memory is pretty shocking at the best of times anyway. I'll definitely try and remember to grab that on the way back through. Oh, that reminds me as well. There is also something else we're meaning to do. Well, I mean, I should have done a long time ago. I've been complaining about the guards at Traders for a, a heck and bloody long time. But I haven't really been doing anything to make their lives easier. So after I... In fact, even beforehand, beforehand. Before I do anything, please don't accident... No. That's not what I wanted to do. Please don't accidentally hit the Trader guards. There you go. Free up some of your visibility, uh, visibility even. So you can see the guys you're trying to shoot. And maybe once in your life, you might actually hit something. There we go. Got rid of like everything, including like the main billboard out the front. Hopefully that's a little bit better for you guys. Hopefully you can see some targets now rather than just, I don't know, shooting the ground in front of them. You might actually be able to like do some damage for a change, but it's really had some damage done to it. Get rid of all of that. There you go, guys. Got your back. Get rid of that one. No, get rid of that one under there. There we go. There we go. Sure you guys will be happy now. Uh, I can't really do all the rest of them. That's like the main ones. Who have the issues? Is it working? Is it working? Are you guys hitting some targets or you're just floundering your shots once again? Oh. Well, would you look at that? Turns out you give a bitch a line of sight and she'll scone a mole. 
Easy bloody peasy. All right. Well, if you guys want to continue to shoot any screamers to show up, I'd very much appreciate it. I've got some business to attend to. I didn't combine all my SWAT helmets, but that's a bit of a shame because everything else gets bought. Because I have... I actually keep you. Why not? Because I've uh, combined everything else, I'm not hitting his max limit for any one item. Got too many Helmet Light mods as well. He's, t he's a wad of $10,000 redos, if you don't mind. Have another 1000 there as well. Making lots of money. Could have used that crowbar to upgrade my other one, but... They're all used the crowbar anyway, so it's kind of redundant. Took more than three of you guys as well. Can't sell those ones. Can sell you. All the dies as well. And that should be just about it. Got to level up as well. Made $70,000. Not a bad shake of the sauce bottle if you don't say so yourself. That would be right up there with a particularly fine bunning sausage. Let's buy you. Because I always want electrical passes. Buy the springs as well because I'm always in the mood for them. Gunpowder, got plenty. Bullet tips, I need plenty. Ah, uh, what else got? Also, notice how nice and quiet it is now. I gave the, the, the buddy guards some line of sight, and now they killed like a couple of Zomberinis, and it's nice. No more rattling my eardrums all bloody day. He doesn't have any rebar frames. That's severely disappointing. What about in your secret stash? No rebar there either. Rude. I did buy a bunch of clay soil though. In fact, I think you had some extra clay soil back here, didn't you? Another 6,000? I'll just buy you because I can't be asked digging up massive ditches just for clay. Rather just buy it because I have plenty of dollar redos. What else is around? What else have you got here for me, knackers? Mm, you're not really exciting me. Even a little bit. I'll buy that 600 bucks for some extra skill note pages. Anything else in here? They're all a thousand. It's a bit too expensive for my taste, despite rolling in cash. All that damn gawking at goods, and that's all you buy. Dude, I... Listen, business has to go both ways. What about all about me buying your shit? Sometimes you have to buy my shit as well. You know what? Fuck ya. I'm gonna leave the door open. Just to spot ya. You know, if you're gonna get upset about my custom, which is like the, the verb of being a customer, I suppose. If you're gonna get upset about my custom, you can have the custom of all the zombies instead. Don't forget Josh on the way through. Oh, just scatter all the gubs on the ground as well. Don't forget to grab the loot that's just chilling out there. Oh, jeez, you scared me. You scared me. There's a doodle on the noodle. Get rid of you. Nice. Okay, well, loot and gogs are on. Grab that one. There is a demon inside. It's just for shits and gigs. How we just go like... I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you should have died from the first one. I think I shot him in the ankle rather than the head. That's my bad. Nah, don't do it, Josh. Don't do it. You don't need to go on a murder spree right now. There's more important things to be doing. You'll get your murder fill later. There's big bad demons to be slain. Don't worry about the piddly little Jeffries hanging out inside a cabin. Just put the bike back in the garage. Open sesame, please. G'day, Samson. How you doing? A stick in your noggin through the wall to say g'day. Always appreciate a lovely greeting like that, despite you being a disgusting cannibal. You know what? I'll take what I can. All right, so you guys are what I need to roll with. That's like my everyday stuff. You can go with me. What else do we have my everyday things? It's like food and drink as well, isn't it? Definitely need some drink if I am taking on a couple of demons. So you can go back in here. Uh, anything else I got can get put away. Scrap you. Uh, how will light mods can go back into this one like that. Store all the stuff that doesn't fit. Nice sellables box can just take you guys back. Because I would like to take my uh, dollar redos down with me. I'll actually keep those NVGs on me just in case something does arise where I might need them. You never bloody know. You can go into there. That can go back in the sellables box as well. Bonk my noggin on the roof. Uh, good. Okay, that's doable. I think we're in a pretty good position. You can go back into there as well. All I need to do, I'm pretty bloody hungry. Let's chow down to some shepherd's pie. It does give me a boost for salvage harvest, but it's not really my main concern. I just want it for the good grub that it is. Let's take all of you to go into the chopper. Let's drink you to get my fluids back up again. Um... I might take you as well, because you never bloody know. And I will take a big fat stack of steak and chips. Yeah, good. Yeah, bloody good. Nice. Is that everything I need? I think so. Let's quickly just check in here, though. Just some learn elixirs. That's fine. I was hoping to find some more laser ammo in there, because I'm pretty scant on that at the moment. I thought I had more. I don't want to make more, because I've only got a limited amount of this stuff, but... I just, oh, it's just so expensive. The ammo is so expensive. What I'm going to do, I'm going to move all of this aside like that. And I am actually going to take 
the shotgun. I don't normally roll with it, but it might actually come in handy. Let's go six. Take an extra stack of you and make sure you are nice and reloaded. You are. You're fully outfitted to fuck up some shit. Good. You can go back away. Nice. I am going to the, the wasteland, though, so I wouldn't mind having some extra ammo. All my ammo is over at the horde base, though. That's rather bloody silly of me. Uh, you, let's grab that. I'll take the motorcycle out back to the hall base to grab some extra ammo and then take off from there. Can I even just go real cheeky like through like this? Open that door, please. And just like slot out this way. Can't bother going to do the whole three point turn again. Close the door behind me. Good. All right. I don't know why this is still all fucked up. I'll sort it out another day. Let's go get the ammo and let's go down to the wastelands. I'm getting nervous. So I have an extra stack of 7.62 and an extra stack of core rounds just in case. Never know when you might need them down the road. There's all my laser ammo. I knew I had some more. I knew it was around somewhere. I probably need some honey. I don't have any honey in here. So let's just take you and some antibiotics. Why not? Must even grab some honey on the way. Anything else in here going to be of any use? Some rebar frames. Got no use out at the horde base anymore. I've already done everything I need with you. Um... I'll leave you there. I'm sure that Caitlyn's got some for me. Let's not be too crazy with it just yet. I'll take an extra stack of fluids. Just because you never bloody know. And anything else. I think that's going to do me. Hey, I think that's going to be just about enough. All right, let's get going. You can actually just stay there because for a rainy day, you never know when you might need it. All right. Oh, I'm scared. I am scared. I am not confident about this even one iota. <sighs> Let's pick up you. No, not storage. Let's pick you up. In fact, you have... You don't have the turbo in you. You have the turbo in you. Okay, that's probably where it's more of use. Stop you over. Grab you real quick. And let's get rid of the fly. Oh, Caitlin, please make this worthwhile for me. Please make this worthwhile for me. Come all the way down. You got nothing. And I have to fight a bloody incubus. And that's how I die. I'm not even confident I'm going to beat him. I'm not even confident we're going to beat the bloody bastard. Oh, please get up. Not great flying. Not great flying. We're doing core screws and barrel rolls for no one's audience. Let's get out of here. Let's head down south. Do you reckon I'll beat the Incubus? I'm not sure. If I take away his regen, I'm still... He's still got like 20,000 health. That's still so much. I suppose the laser rifle would be the way to go, but... I don't want to waste all my ammo on. I might just like shoot him a couple times with that. Get him down a bit. Then try and just hose with the Coil Sniper. A full mag of Coil Sniper right in his chin should do a fair amount of damage. And after that, we go to the laser rifle maybe before I can reload. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the tactic should be. I can't really see anything. I'm trying to go down just very, very slightly. It looks like I'm in the burnt biome now. I've marked on my map... The, uh, yeah, I'm in the bird biome now. I've marked the quick waypoint where the Incubus was. I'm not going to head there straight away. I'll head to Caitlyn first. I'm not sure if it needs to be nighttime for him to spawn. It's risky biscuits for me to come down into the wasteland again at nighttime. But this time, I'm definitely significantly better armed. I don't know how to make a better, co uh, a better laser rifle than 61 at the moment. I can't make... The 70s that I need to uh, to get so I can make myself the um the tier 80. In fact, I'm only tier 61 because I did make three of them and combine them all together. So not really sure how to go about getting a better one. I'm just kind of stuck with what I got at the moment. It's something like white and glowy down there. Are they cars or I don't know what they bloody are. All right, but here's the town. Let's go find Caitlyn. Let's go spend some money and protect her compound as best we can. Then we can find the Hell Knight and probably get our shit pushed in. I'm not really sure where the best approach or best landing zone is going to be. Slow down a little bit. Try and land on the road outside of compound, I suppose. The only problem is there's not like a whole lot of good takeoff area here. Does, the gyro does take a little while to get up and about just like me before midday without a coffee. No one's around. Okay, we're pretty good. You just like... Actually, hang on. You take this. Let's go refuel you. Hold on to these, please. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Let's lock those in. One, two, three, four, five. And I might even just grab my... Uh, grab you, actually. I'll grab my motorcycle and use that to get about. Because I can't take off quickly with this. So I may as well cruise about on this one. In fact, you know what? Let's not even risk it. Let's not even risk it. All you guys back again. I know I just put them down, but I may as well carry it around with me. And not take any sort of a chance. This is going to have to bloody do. All right, Caitlin. What you got for me, sweetheart? Good to see you again. I missed your lovely face. That was a big bit of lag. Please don't be a wandering horde. Caitlin, how you doing? May I have some inventory? And real quick, got any rebar? How do you not have rebar, Caitlin? Come on. 
I probably should have done this back at Rex, but I'll try it now. I'll buy the awesome sauce. You are very welcome, because that gives me better bartering. Did I drink that? I pressed open instead of drink. It, I did drink. I thought I just like splashed it on my cheeks instead. Gave myself a bath in awesome sauce, which wouldn't have been very awesome at all. And with that, I will buy lots of electrical parts, lots of mechanical parts, because I always need them. Uh, what else is around? If I do just have parts. No, that was all the parts you had. All right, fair whackers, knackers. Uh, anything else you got for me? Have a cheeky little squeeze through all of your offerings. Mm, I'm not confident. I'm not particularly confident. You do have so much stuff. How do you not have rebar in here? Of all the things you got, how is rebar one of the ones you've left behind? What about your secret buddy stash? Take you and you and you, because you're nice and cheap. Why not? Got an extra solar bank back home. You're now considerably cheaper, but 100 times 100 is still, what, like 10,000? I think. Wait. Yeah, 10,000, I think. I want to spend $10,000 on 105 general schematics. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Got the awesome source going for me, so may as well. What else is around? Take you guys for all of that as well, too. Another laser workbench. You're half the price. Wow, that's a really good discount. Do I need another one? I don't think I need another one. What I could do with is an extra body fusion forge. I don't think you have one of those for me at all, do you? Fusion? No. Mod? Not well, like vehicle. No. No vehicle mods either. Maybe other Caitlyn has some. Check in here. Not nothing there either. All right. You're welcome. Fair play then. Let's scrap all of you. Let's see if we can go find. Oh jeez, I'm scared. Let's see if we can go find that incubus now. Oh, I'm not sure about this. I'm really bloody not. Oh, I think I see him. I think I see him already. Is that him hanging out just behind the cowboy there? Let's quickly get rid of you. I reckon that is. That definitely bloody is. All right. Time to shine, laser rifle. No time like the present. Do I have learned list? Let's quickly bang you on just to see how we go. Lots of demons getting spawned in. How you doing, dickhead? So I'm definitely doing a lot of damage to him. Maybe we'll go with the laser rifle for the moment. Can't see his noggin. There you are. Try to put you before you even make it to me. Stop crouching. Yes, I fucking can. Your body's not there anymore, but I'll dip my chips in your ethereal spirit. Get absolutely spanked, you big lot of shit. Oh, yes, laser rifle. What have you got for me? Auto shotgun and AK. Don't particularly care. I've got four minutes left of my fucking learning cane. Oh, my, my, uh, my learning elixir. May as well rinse all your bloody friends. Your boss is gone, and I'm going to have a fucking party. Just because I bloody can. We're going to go around with the old baseball bat. I'm not scared of you, big cheese. You once frightened me awfully much, but now, you know what? You got a big todger? He's my bigger todger. All right, taking way too long. If I shoot him at range with my laser rifle, it means I can go up to him and not have to really worry about them exploding. They can still gozzle all over me. That's still a problem, but they're not going to get their health back anymore. Don't bother reloading. Cruise on up. Hit you. Hit you. I didn't hit you. I don't think I did. Shotguns out for the boys. Although, the shotgun doesn't really do that much, does it? I think the core stuff is still the way to go. Let's not get too cocky, Josh. Still doing your job. Still murder where you can. Avoid their, do their bloody jaws bullets. Hit you. Hit you. Then get personal. Yes, that's fine. That's definitely a way to go about it. There is an awful lot of... De oh my god, there's another one. I'm not particularly scared of you anymore, but there's an awful lot of demons around. Hit you. Ow, oh, you bitch. I was too busy trying to shoot your friend, not shoot you. There we go, put you down. Like, the laser rifle's still a really bloody good time, so I'm as well trying to stick with it. He's still spawning in some more demons. That's fine. Fuck. That's less fine. Come on. Die, please. Die, please. Oh, yeah, still died with it. You didn't even give me anything? Oh, I mean, I'll dip my chips in you. are pretty scantily clad, so I feel kind of seedy doing it, but I'll still dip my chips in you anyway. All right. Hit you real quick, put you down, reload that, and then just you and me, dickhead. You and me, hell not. You're gonna fuck me up, that's alright. I'll fuck you up this as much. Please go faster. Please go faster. He's jiggling. Jiggling all over the place. No time for healing. Just die. Just die. Yes, just fucking die. You and all your friends as well. There you go. Left your carcass on the ground for me to dip into. Oh, who's the biggest, baddest dickhead now? It's me. Always been the dickhead. But now I've got the guns to back it up. There's still an awful lot of demons around here. I'm not sure why, like, 
this seems to be the summoning place for all the demons in the bloody world, but I am rinsing and repeating. Everyone gone, everyone good. Nice. Oh, I, oh fuck. Boy, you spawned like right inside me, didn't you? You, ow! Guys, I'm trying to get the loot. Can you just stop for a second? I appreciate you just like hand delivering me a bunch of stuff, but it's really starting to hurt. It's really starting to take its toll. So I'm not sure why they're all spawning here. I want to get all these loot bags to get all my health back uh, first, please. Stop. Why are they spawning here? There's so many of them. All right, I've got the express looting perk anyway. I thought you were something bigger and scarier. Let's just go for it. You, oh, that was a power armor helmet. That's really bloody good. Take everything you can. Oh, the bloody reeds are getting in the way. I hate it so much. No, they're trying to goz. I've got some personal, so they can't do anything to me other than maybe set me on fire just a little bit. That's all right, though. I built up a lot of layers of Maccas so that I can just sweat it all out. Reload you real quick. Put you back down. The fire's not so bad. Could definitely be worse. Oh, for goodness sake. Stop dropping loot now. I'm... This is too much for me. There's too much loot over here for me, and it's all bloody good shit. I don't want to lose it. Ow, stop it. Oh, there's another flying fetish, bitch. God damn it. As quick as hit you, I need to focus on you rather than anyone else. Just walk backwards. That's right. I walk over the lamb on it too, but we're okay. That was definitely some good headshots. All right, all you guys need to stop as well. I wish, like, shooting with this thing stopped their gauze, because it's really bloody annoying and set on fire all the time. Put both of you guys down. You can go down as well. I'm really fucking hurt, actually. Let's quickly put you inside me. All right. No more risk. Oh, but I want to risk it. There's so much good shit. What was that? Was that just like machine gun parts? Like, the core officer does a really fucking good job. It's just the burnies. The burnies hurt so bloody much. Please stop. I just want the loot. Oh, why are you getting guarded so heavily? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh my, what were those feet? I saw feet of something big and horrific and I can't turn around and have a look at it right now. Run between the things, get your water out and just keep putting out the flames because you are very fucking hurt, Josh. This is not the time to be brave. I need to see what the fuck that thing was. Get all your health back. It looks like claws. What the fuck is that thing? Can you die quicker, please? Jesus Christ, you're one tough motherfucker. There is something bigger and scarier over there and I don't want to go fight it just yet. I need you to die. Fucking Christ, you're tough. Please die. Please die. Please die faster. Okay, good. What the hell is that thing out there? So I got a flying thing. I got... I don't know. It looks like a big fucking ball of lava. I know I'm on fire. Just wait. Just wait. There we go. You're dead as well. I'm still burning. Let's put myself out. I need to... What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Nah. Yeah, fucking nah, mate. Did I just overstay my welcome by way too long? What the shit are you? Oh, I want to get close and find out. But I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Just like... That was stealth damage. Didn't kill her, but she's not going to get her health back at the very least. I'm using all my laser ammo. Can you die, please? There we go. Can you tell me what you are now? No, that one. What the fuck? What the ever-loving titty fucking Christ is that? It seems like most of the other demon spawn has stopped, though. Like, the demonics have stopped coming in. Do I get real fucking brave with it? Hey, you, can you just like come over here, please? Don't call in your big brother, just you. Mano e mano, man to man, it's you and me and my guards. Did I actually keep you the first time? I'm not sure that I did. All right, I definitely have now. Oh, Josh, do you be brave? Do you be brave? I don't think you do. I don't think I should, but I want to know what it is. I want to fight it. Oh, it's so late at night as well. Get all of that into you. Let's pop another one of you just because we can. Let's put that into you as well. Let's scrap you, scrap you, scrap all this stuff. Get all the things we need. Oh, if this goes badly, Josh, what's your plan of action? What's your fucking plan of action there, dickhead? How are you going to get out of here in one piece? All right. Let's try it. I don't know what this thing's going to be, but I want to try it. Demonic behemoth. Oh, okay. Well, fuck it. Right in the chin. 
Yeah, Jiggle gets hit. all your life, buddy. I'm coming for you. You're going to heal to 60,000 health. I'm not careful. Just keep going. Just keep going and backtracking. Headshots and everything. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, get fucking spanked. Oh, dip him in ya. I will marinate my nutsack in all of your fucking organs. Give me your viscera. Let me feel a caressing through every nook, every fucking valley of my hairy fucking peaches. Oh, just get spanked. Didn't even fucking give me a reward. But get absolutely wrecked. Oh, I am the fucking god of the apocalypse. And look at that. Oh, fuck. I was going to say, just like that, all of the demons no longer spawn. But then they all spawned in just to prove me wrong. And just goes, fuck you too, Josh. Well, I'm going to quickly grab you and just leave. I'm just leaving. I feel like I've had my fill. I don't know why they're all spawning out here. There are so many demons here. This is like... This is like the crossroad of the dimensions. All the demons in the world are spawning just there. So what? What else is left in this? Like, how much how much worse could this possibly get? Demonic behemoths? Are you gagging? Are you gagging on the biggest and floppiest of cogs? The fucking flying bitch keeps in a wardrobe in a special fucking gym? You know what? I don't even need you. Don't even need you. Because it's later fucking night. I'm, I'm done. I'm done for today. Give him a fucking gyro back. I could maybe go see other Caitlyn, but I'm not feeling particularly brave anymore. I've done my bit of bravery for the day. I nutted up so I didn't have to shut up because it's physically impossible. I'm heading fucking home. That's enough for one afternoon. Oh, you know what? The other trade of Caitlyn wasn't actually too far away. And I do have the, um, the, the boosty boys, the turbo in my gyro. So it's not actually too bad to get out there. Uh, it's to the left of that, isn't it? The only problem is, like, actually like, taking back off again is going to be a bit of an ask because, like, Look at the terrain I have to try and take off from. This isn't an A-10 Warthog. It can't take off from a bunch of like sheet metal on the ground. It does need a fair bit of work to get up and going again. Let's put you like, I don't know, like fucking anywhere, I suppose. Let's just do that and just pick you up. I'll get back into the sky somehow, some way, a little bit later. No use trying to park it at the spot that's actually reasonable. Hopefully all the demons out here are still dead from the last time I came through. I did do a pretty good job of clearing it out last time. Looks like it's pretty nice and clear. All right. <laughs> There's a hole in the door. Caitlin, how you doing? You wouldn't believe what I've been through today, but here I am again. Um, let's go rebar frames. You got anything for me? No? Come on, surely. It's about to tick over to night, so I was going to make this as quick as possible, Katie, if you wouldn't mind, because I feel like everything in the world is about to bear down upon us. Give me that. Uh, concrete, no. That's, uh, how much is concrete these days? Three grand? Sure. Why not? I'll buy some concrete off ya. I've been offering it to me for a very long time. I may as well take it off you eventually. Or else you just keep offering it and never bloody take the hints. Nothing else really there. Let's quickly check. Mod? Nope, nothing in that one. Let's check the actual mods folder. No, nothing there. Alright, what about in here? Take all of that because you're going to give me some nice bloody, um, what should we call it? Skill note page, which I always need. Anything else in here? Recipes, augers, mm, nothing. Solar cells, already got some, but thank you. Uh, hmm, impact drivers, mask drivers, rocket launcher. No, nothing fun at all. Nothing in mods, nothing for vehicles. All right. Thank you. Thank you too. I hope I see you again, but given I am here at night time, that's increasingly unlikely. Um, What's the best way? Now, the gyrocopter does have this funny little thing where if you get actually airborne early, it's much easier to take off. So if I put you there, like that, come on, here we go. If I just get you in the air, it should be much easier to get up into the sky. Up, bounce, bounce, up, away. Yeah, see? A bit of a donk, a bit of a bonk, but that's all right. We're heading the right direction now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I fucking know. You threw everything you had at me and you can still just lick around the end of my foreskin. Fuck you, Zeus. Get absolutely rogered. It's not often that I get to come home from an adventure and feel like I actually achieved something. Oh, man. I can't believe I got away with that. I shouldn't have fought that demonic behemoth. I really bloody shouldn't have. Oh, man. So what? at one point, there was an incubus, a succubus, and a demonic behemoth all at the same time. That's like... Well, two, uh, one out of the three I've never seen before. Two out of three I know are the worst things in the world. Thank God I had the laser rifle. I really, I need to figure out how to get the tier 80 laser rifle. But also, if that's what's spawning during the day in the wasteland, what the dick is going to be waiting for me in the bunker underneath those tents? Because that's in the wasteland and a POI that I'm sure is going to be just the hardest thing in the bloody world. Oh, it's going to be a whole thing, isn't it? 
That's gonna be a whole bloody thing, isn't it? Oh man. I don't know. I'm never <laughs> I feel weird. I never usually try like enact any sort of bravery. I'm normally a little girl stick and run back home and suck my thumb in the corner. But this time I tried to be brave and actually fucking succeeded. That's heckin' unusual. There's the uh the skyscraper. We're on way too high and way too close to home. Let's put the nose down a little bit and see if we can land somewhere reasonable. Anything around? Yeah, there's my house. There's my house with the walls out the front that are slowly starting to dry. Let's just like, oh, uh, you know what? Let's let's pitch up. Let's come around again. Or just crash into a tree. Whatever works. I like freaking George of the Jungle. We've got to stop somehow, right? Whatever. That'll do. Home enough is good enough. Is close enough to safe. Oh man, I'm tired now. I'm exhausted. That took all of like. All of my organs were seized up for a moment there. That didn't feel good at all. Oh man, I'm gonna need so much more. So much more anyway. Thank God it's got a hundred round magazine in it as well. Should I put maybe the full, like a full auto trigger mod into that one? It seems like it might not be a bad idea, but semi-auto seems to work pretty well anyway. I did find, oh, I found a better power uh, armor helmets. Much better than my current one. Oh, and some titty protection as well. Nice, nice. All missing now is power armor, arms, and thighs. Okay, I can deal. I can deal with that. You're still being a knob jockey. Not sure why, but let's get inside. Oh, man. What an adventure. What a day. So, right quick, let's pull off my helmet and my tits, and let's grab all the stuff out of you, like that, and grab all the stuff out of you as well. Take off my sweet penny cap as well, because I want to combine the pair. Grab you and you. Just a slightly better 56, that works for me fine though. You and you should give me a slightly better 36. All right, fair enough then. All you guys back into there, dye your back purple. Bang, 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 bang. Nice, okay, on and on. 100% radiation protection again. Good. What else do I need? I might actually make, what do I need for a full auto, here we go, full auto mod. Generic schematic, steel, glue, parts, polymers. Okay, let's quickly bang out one of those because it might be worthwhile. I. The problem is though, I like being able to place my shots. I like knowing that I'm putting shots on target every time because ammo is so limited. I don't want to be going ball to gate and just spraying with this thing. Maybe that's not the best way to go about it. Hey, you know what I should actually do? So physical conditioning is done with the, um, the demonic essence. So I need eight of them. I may as well just go and do that, right? I've got plenty of demonic essence. It was just that at like steroids, wasn't it, I think? I think so, uh, in the laser workbench. Uh, wait, what was it? You, recipes. Oh, maybe it's the nanites then, not demonic essence. I need grain alcohol as well. Uh, I can't remember now. Which ones, which? Surely it'd be nanites then. I've got more of the nanites actually. So, transhuman shot. What are the ones that I actually needed in, oh, I'm level 189, so I'm almost level 200. Physical conditioning and transhuman. Okay, so I need four of those and four of those. Now, I don't know if I need to make these anymore. I don't think I can give it a go with the nanites first, but you know, you live and learn, I suppose. Grab all of you. And grab all these ones as well. Because that should give me max level for all that stuff. Then I'm, I've maxed everything in technology crafting as well. Don't know why you guys stack, but you guys don't. But okay. Use. It's going to take a little while, but use that. I'll use all of these and see where we end up. That was the last one. Let's have a cheeky squiz. What are we doing over here? Five out of five. Five out of five. So you guys you guys are blocked off. No tech boost perks. Okay. If I, if I was going to choose, if I was going to sit here and arm an R over, I would have chosen the tech boost anyway. But that's now all maxed out. Personally, before I got in a big fight with a big old fucking behemoth dude. Uh, well, inside doesn't really matter. Diseases never really get fucked up anyway. Drugs dehydrate you less. I mean, never really take meds. I mean, I guess I take meds more now. I'm finding bigger and scarier stuff. Still need to go and get my scientist class because then master scientist gives me advanced healing items, hazmat suit, biofuel. Yeah, I already looked at that. Okay, everything else is master though, so I'm I'm pretty much there. You know, I've done a fair bit. I just want to know why I can't make a better laser rifle. I don't but it was, oh my fucking lord, look how much health I've got now. 400? Are you having a fucking laugh? 
it's gonna take me a while to get like up to that level because that's so freaking far away but here have some of that i suppose i i have nothing i have nothing to explain how much health that actually is take that as well just keep putting health inside me I can't believe how much health that is. Holy crap. Before I forget, actually, let's grab you and let's grab you because I would very much like to have some rebar frames, please. Do I make you in this one? Advance forward. Yes, I do. You're the better of the two. Let's go like... How many do I need? Let's go like 150 there. I'm going to take two minutes. Let's go 150 in this one as well. 150. Thank you. And do the same over this side. Just because, you know, that gives me like, well, like... 450 to play which is more than i need but may as well get that crafted along so then tomorrow uh i can finish off my wall outside it's day 73 now there's another horde not too far away are those big dehem uh uh dehemoths that's not a bad name for them are those big dehemoths those demon behemoths gonna show up in regular hordes now look like, i'm not in the wasteland who knows they may just but i have my laser rifle just to, uh in case they do i will actually so tomorrow I'll get those rebar frames, I'll finish off the walls, I will make a full auto mod and a sprods mod for the laser rifle, just, just in case. So it shows up on the front doorstep, I'm gonna want to put as many rounds down range as possible and just absolutely obliterate everything I can possibly hit with a laser. Man, it's dicey. We're getting a real bloody dicey. I don't know, I'm now a god though. I have 400, 420, just blaze, nice. Uh, 420 stamina and health. So I'm looking pretty good, but they're looking just as vicious and scary. So I'll sort of my inventory and come back and get going in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.